What's up guys to Igor and Russia Finnish edition. We're now in Mustavori, which was one of the main focus points of defense line of Sverborg's mainland fortress. It was located in the eastern side of Helsinki, so that makes sense because the main idea of Sverborg fortress was to defend St. Petersburg. This place is awesome. We're standing at the highest point of Vuosaari and it's amazing. Check it out. Before we continue, please hit that subscribe button, uh, leave a like, share the video, leave a comment. You click the subscribe button. Thank you. And now let's go on. So we are now inside the Sverborg caves. Check it out. just awesome to be here early 20th century atmosphere so this is so-called Russian trench of the First World War what the fuck? so this time I came prepared Mustavor is a very uh, popular leisure park on the edge of East Helsinki next to Vuasari <laughs> hi guys welcome to Igor in Russia now we're at Mustavori. are we lost so this is a typical Sverborg fortress uh, road, connection road, made of, out of uh, cobblestone. Also no, known as Tykkitie cannon roads, built for, well, transportation obviously. They used rocks to transport the, uh, the heavy machinery equipment, cannons, etc. And it tosiaan löytyy sitten, kun tämän kun kävelee läpi. And we already have found some parts of uh, trenches. And this is not any trenches, these are super, super deep. So we are now starting our way into a trench. Trench of Mustavori's Verbo Fortress. <laughs> About six, hey, Mika six, over six meters deep. So we're going inside the uh, inside the cave. This is a huge connection. Connection cave of Mustavori. So Yari is brave enough to try over this pool of water. And we have managed to cross. <laughs> this is a truly remarkable, uh, remarkable place. The main job of Mustavori fortification was to support the Russian naval base in Kronovori. This is one of the highest points of Helsinki, uh, located in East Helsinki. There's caves down under, batteries all around the fortification. The fortification was built during 1914, all the way up to 1918. That means they continued to build it after Finnish independence in 1917. Truly remarkable place. is one of the, the best remained parts of fortification. It was planned as a strong point and it had trenches, connecting paths and caves. This unfinished fortification was planned to have 26 machine gun posts, 18 observation stations, 52 bunkers, but this is actually uh, was never used during the war. Just like the, the whole Sverborg uh, land fortification. During the Finnish Civil War, the uh, Finnish Reds used some, some parts of, uh, of fortification against the German, German forces. We are above the connection cave. Because the fort was unfinished, most of the 52 bunkers were left as caves. Ah, 
Smaller trenches down below covering the huge trench construction on top of the, the hill. Quite hard to actually move over there, but we're gonna do it. Right, this looks dangerous. So this is, this used to be some kind of a bunker. Here's the entrance to the bunker. It's missing the roof. Some, some kind of ammo, ammo storages. Still remaining. Whoa. So there's some bunkers. How awesome is this? So here you can see clearly the steps for soldiers to take in order to be shooting over the top. walking inside the trench and it feels amazing so here's more of the of the bunkers there's a way bigger opening. This is what you call a man cave. So this is so-called Russian trench of the First World War. What the f It's very deep. I mean, I'm not sure if your camera tells you, but it's like 20 off you have It's like, I don't know, 50 meters, 20. Gotta be careful. Entering the, the second cave, which is, which is one of the deepest, deepest trenches of of whole mainland fortress, is gigantic, guys. This time I came prepared. Check this out. Whoa! This cave was mined to protect the soldiers from bombardment or something because it was left unfinished, concrete jobbed surrounding the, uh, the surface. So it looks like, like a cave, which is definitely awesome. So these, these trenches are endless, not just in Mustavor, but all across Helsinki. This definitely has some interesting walls. This is probably like, I don't know, how many, how deep? Well, I want to say like, what, 10? 10 meters, 10, 15 I mean, meters. From the lowest point, I think 20. 20. And second cave, even larger. And of course, I'm gonna show you the cave from the First World War, a bunker, basically. We are now in the First World War bunker, huge cave constructed by the Russian Empire. And uh, we are in the deepest point, deepest point of the bunker, and it's very, very impressive. This was mined by, by people. So thanks guys for watching this video. Uh, remember to subscribe. There's more Sverborg uh, Fortress videos coming up. I'm uploading the videos approximately two times a week. So see you guys and thanks for joining. Bye.